India. What's the image coming to your mind when you hear India? Taj Mahal, India Gate, or the wonderful cities of Mumbai and Delhi? But these do not make the whole of India. There are many things within the country which defines India as well as its uniqueness in the world we live in. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some of the things that India is known for. And these are the kind of things that are truly unique in India and to her people. Number 1. Identity Cards for Cows In India, you can see cows everywhere. That's not just because they're protected species, but they are a sacred animal to the major religions in India, i.e. Hindus, Buddhists, Jains, Sikhs, etc. Throughout India's modern history, it has seen a lot of problems that are associated with its cattle population. And it is usually because of violent conflicts between different communities regarding the status of its cattle population. In 2015, a government committee had recommended a unique identification number, a UID, for cows to prevent cattle trafficking following a Supreme Court direction that heard a plea to stop cattle smuggling. Since 2019, the Information Network for Animal Productivity and Health, INAPH, was set up. And as of now, about 22.3 million buffaloes and cows have got their UIDs. These UIDs are known as Fashu Hada and are tagged onto every cattle's ear with the aim of enhancing traceability of the country's livestock. This is of course good for those who support the sanctity of the cows, but not necessarily good for India as a whole, because as much as the government is able to track the cattle population, it is poorly managed. A major problem can be seen when cows move freely everywhere, whether they be in rural areas or in the heart of cities. And with this, comes a lot of traffic problems. Number 2. Barefoot Football in the 1950 World Cup In 1950, India managed to qualify for the 1950 FIFA World Cup, which was scheduled to take place in Brazil after qualifying by default from the pre-tournament qualifiers. However, the strange thing was the Indian team themselves withdrew from the World Cup before the tournament actually began. The All India Football Federation AIFF, gave various reasons for the team's withdrawal, including travel costs, lack of practice time, and valuing the Olympics more than the World Cup. However, the fact or myth that caught people's attention was that many historians and pundits believe India withdrew from the World Cup due to FIFA imposing a rule banning players from playing barefoot. Being barefooted is very much a significant part of Indian culture, and being a developing country that just gained her independence from the British Empire after the Second World War, it is not surprising that even the AIFF hasn't caught up with FIFA's footballing standards. According to the then captain of India, Selin Mana, the story that the team not being allowed to play due to the refusal for footwear was just a ruse to cover up the actual reasons why the AIFF decided not to travel to Brazil. How true this is, we will never know. But I think the barefoot story itself is interesting enough for the 1950 World Cup to be remembered for. Sadly, India has not come close to qualifying for another World Cup. But if they do one day in the future, let's hope that they do not withdraw again. Even if FIFA bans people from wearing footwear for the game. <laughs> Number 3. India's Love for Gold it is said that there is at least 20 metric tons of gold stashed away in India's households and temples. Researchers say that there is probably more gold in India than there is in the US combined. Gold is very much part of Indian culture as Indian culture is very much based on the practice of having lots and lots of gold. This is especially true when it comes to Indian weddings. I mean, have you seen Indian weddings? Ladies are covered with enough gold that they could survive a nuclear explosion. Economically, gold also acts as a kind of informal insurance mechanism in India. This very strong informal system of exchange works in a way where gold can be rapidly turned into cash, especially in times of emergency. People from other cultures often associate Indian culture with spices in their curry dishes. But what they do not know is the amount of gold that they hoard can overpower all scent produced by whatever spices they put in their food. 
To explain India's love for gold, we need only visit the golden temple known as Dabar Sahib, located in the city of Amritsar, Punjab, India, where the whole temple complex is covered in gold. Number 4. The English Language The introduction of the English language in India is always thought of being forced by the British since the 1800s after Lord Macaulay's Minute in 1835. He played a major role in the introduction of English and Western concepts to education in India and supported the replacement of the Persian language by English as the official language in the country. This led to the use of English as the medium of instruction in all schools and the training of English-speaking Indian teachers. This has proven to have a great effect on modern-day India since English is today regarded as an official language in India and is still taught and used in schools as a medium of instruction and communication from the lowest level of education to the highest within the country. Quick fact! As a country with no recognized national language, English has, arguably, the same status as Hindi, India cultural language. With one of the largest populations in the world, i.e. 1.3 billion, India has, in fact, also contributed to the English language's status as a lingua franca of the world. Number 5. High Salary for Policemen with Mustaches It may sound strange to people outside of India, but apparently mustaches pay in India. Like all practices in whatever culture, no one actually knows where this practice comes from. But it is commonly accepted in Indian police culture that bosses believe that large mustaches make men command more respect. It is like as if those mustaches emanate an unseen aura that is felt by everyone around them. Ooh. Unlike Western culture, mustaches are just fashion or a symbol of status. But in India, it apparently makes you look more like a badass than anything else. And because of such badassery, Policemen with well-kept mustaches are paid more than those who struggle to grow even a goatee. Some might argue that this perception of badassery in owning a mustache is due to how Bollywood movies have been portraying badasses with mustaches who jump from explosions and saving damsels. Either way, you have to admit that an angry person with a mustache is more intimidating than an angry person without one. Those are just a few things that make India unique. If you want to know more about India or anything and everything over, around, and in between the world you live in, please consider subscribing to this channel to know what about everything. Thanks for watching.